Here's a quick tutorial on the Shure Plus Motive app that comes with the Shure MV7 microphone when you purchase it. This is a great tool. There's the auto level function that allows you to essentially set it and forget it. And of course you can choose through a variety of different uh, presets. So you can make some changes, save your preset and recall it whenever you wish. You can mute the microphone directly from within the application. You can set the monitor mix, which is the mix between your monitors, your headphones, of listening to yourself on the microphone and the playback of something else. So let's say, for example, you're in a Teams meeting and you, know, you wanna have a nice balance between your own voice and the voices of everybody else. You can drag this slider to adjust it. So it's kind of like a mini mixer. The next thing here is mic position. Generally speaking, you want the microphone as close to your mouth as possible, but there is an opportunity to choose far, and that way you can move the mic perhaps off screen and no one will see it, but it will compensate for that. The tone, of course, uh, you can choose between dark, natural, and bright. I've chosen natural. I find that that's probably the best. Dark is, of course, a little bit more bassy, Bright is a little bit more trebly, and you can decide what's best for your voice. The microphone itself, the MV7, has uh, a live meter with LEDs right on the mic itself, and you can turn that off if you find it distracting. And also, there's a night mode which dims those LEDs so they're less obtrusive. Now, manual mode gives you a little bit more control. So you can adjust the mic gain rather than allowing the mic to auto set itself. Again, the same monitor mix is available. The EQ choices are a little bit more selective. Uh, this first one here is a high pass where it's going to, again, sound more trebly. Presence boost, uh, you know, it's, it's, it is what it kind of describes. It's gonna boost your, your mid to high range frequencies. And uh, this one, of course, will um, you know be a combination of the first two. I find just a flat EQ is fine for me. You also have the opportunity to turn on a limiter and set a compression level. The purpose here is to try and get rid of the background noise, so increasing your signal to noise ratio by by limiting uh, that and give you a flatter overall uh, amount of decibels that you're, you're, you're doing as well. And again, the same LED behavior, you can turn off the live meters and also switch it into night mode.